electrogravitics, gravity control, and energy from the ether. My father was an electrical engineer, graduating with a master's from Caltech and signing on with Convair, a major aerospace company back then. He was assigned to work with Thomas Townsend Brown on electrogravitics, doing experiments. Dad would come home and excitedly tell us what they were getting in their experiments. Gravity control and energy from the ether. He would tell me what the world I would grow up in would look like because of his work. Cities would float, cars would fly, and we would have all the energy we could use. I could hardly wait for this glorious future. Then one night, Dad came home to tell us that he could not talk about his work anymore. He said, and I quote, They want it secret for now. He could not answer me when I asked why they wanted his exciting work kept secret but assured me it was only for a while. I don't think Dad grasped the intimate relationship between energy and money, or he would have known that they would not release it, ever. Money merely accounts for our human energy added into the system that accounts for our human energy added. Money is the foundational tool the top psychopaths use to keep control on our planet. It buys things and people. They can pay others to do their dirty work for them. Toadies, be they strong arms or armies, psychological operations, mass weaponry, and so much more. With money they can bribe, set up blackmail scenarios, threaten, ruin, and kill ones that threaten them through their toadies. Money moves the bulk of our planet's wealth, which is all of ours, to very few here, and those few are psychopaths. If they were not psychopaths, they would want to help humanity, not hoard the wealth, the power over others. As money is energy accounting, free energy would make accounting for our energy pointless, and they do not want that. A case could be made that it is the gravity control they hide, but the biggest thing they hide is free energy. Though I have very little knowledge about electrogravitics, I do have the basic foundation and want to share it. I am hoping others who can will experiment and share successes freely so that free energy can be made available to all of us. And so, I will start with the Biefeld Brown effect, discovered by T.T. Brown and named for a supportive professor. Brown discovered that when a high voltage was delivered across two electrodes with a dielectric between, placed on a scale, the unit would seem to lose weight when the positive electrode was placed upward and gain weight when placed downward. This is the Biefeld-Brown effect. Further experiments showed that when the negative electrode was small and the positive electrode was big, the effect increased. And when a high K dielectric was used, the effect became even more pronounced. When the dielectric was nonlinear, cone-shaped and or with lower K at the negative end graduating to higher K at the positive, it added greatly to the effect. The higher the K value, the more the effect manifested. 
Through experiments, it was determined that what was happening was that a separate gravitational field was being produced. With the unit falling towards the positive plate, and as the positive plate was part of the unit, it moved along with the unit, creating a thrust in that direction. It was discovered that the thrust, with very high K dielectrics, was greater than the energy added to create the voltage used. Pulsing the voltage allowed for the relaxing of the constituent elements in the dielectric, which tend to orient in one direction, causing the effect to diminish greatly over time. As they use a physics that includes an ether in black projects, it was determined that this setup was drawing on the energy there. The ether is a sea of energy. We swim in it. It is protomatter, the energy that can create and maintain matter. Electrogravitics can draw on this energy cleanly and 24-7 anywhere. One simple setup to draw free energy from the ether is to have some number of units on spokes from a central point, with a shaft from that central point leading to a generator. This is the sum of what I know about electrogravitics, but I think it is enough to get experiments going. And surely, if I had the money, I would be doing the experiments myself. But I, disabled, denied assistance, destitute, and technically homeless, am not in a position to do anything more than share awareness. So I leave it to you intrepid experimenters to help humanity free ourselves from the control of money here on our planet. Stolen from us by the psychopaths in control through trusts, Unum Sanctum and the Sestui KV trusts, and deceit centuries ago. Free energy is one of the three pillars with which we can build a foundation for a truly free, ethical, and caring society to emerge from. It is the key pillar, as the other two are out in the open now. For more on the foundation, please see the playlist on my YouTube channels, Amaterasu Solar and Amaterasu Solar Again. And please, share it widely. When enough of us know we can create better on our planet, we will. Love always. Humanity will win.